So I decided to do macro photography with the oldest possible lens that I could find and it yielded some very unexpected results. I went on eBay and I browsed around and tried to find the oldest lens that is for sale and I ended up buying this Aldis Anastigmat lens which uh, was designed in 1902. The Aldis brothers were based in Birmingham and they designed lenses and marketed them in several countries. This is an ad in Italian for their lenses and I believe that it is the Series 2 here that I have purchased. The Aldis brothers also made other optical equipment like this Morse lamp on this picture here. The lenses were used on these kinds of bellow cameras. My lens has an f6 maximum aperture. The focal length is unknown and the eBay ad did not say it. And I know that the, these lenses were made in a range of different focal lengths. So in order to find out I had to do this test where you have a bright lamp in the ceiling and you have a table and you Try to see at what distance from the table that the lens projects a sharp image of the ceiling lamp. And um, I found that this lens has a focal length of around 200 millimeters, so it is pretty long. Give me enough extension tubes and I shall make any lens into a macro lens. This quote is not by Archimedes, but by yours truly. And it is true. but. With a 200mm focal length you need a lot of extension tubes to get a usable magnification. To fasten the lens to the front of the extension tubes I used a reversing adapter. These adapters are very cheap and you can find them on eBay for almost nothing. This adapter mounts to a Sony E-mount on one end and on the other side it has a 49mm filter thread. I then applied a step down ring from 49 to 37 mm to get close to the diameter of the Aldis Anastigmat lens. 37 mm is still a couple of millimeters too wide though to make the lens fit. So then I got the idea to apply some electrical tape. I uh, put the electrical tape around the Aldis lens uh, so that it became a couple of millimeters wider. And then I also had a very flexible grippy surface to push into the 37mm step down ring. And it worked great. And I had to use a lot of uh, extension tubes to get a usable magnification. This is how much I used in order to photograph some Lego figures. But what surprised me with this setup was the very long working distance. When you have a long focal length like this of 200mm and you use extension tubes to get good magnification, what you end up with is a macro lens with a very long working distance. Which can be very usable if you're photographing butterflies or something. Before we look at the photos we can take with this setup, I just want to say something important. If you feel my videos have helped you, please consider supporting me with a small amount of money on Patreon. My supporters get a new bonus video each month and access to my library of old bonus videos. I used my Godox TT685 flash here with uh, the plastic uh, dome as a diffuser and I put it very close to the subject. So, the image quality. Well, it's not super sharp but still very usable I think. The biggest problem however is the very low contrast. You get this kind of milky look to the photos. At first I thought it was because of internal reflections in the extension tubes. I fixed this by applying some black adhesive velvet on the parts that uh, gave the most reflections. But it still didn't really solve the problem. I guess it is because these old lenses they are not coated in any way so the contrast simply is pretty low. I tried shooting at different apertures but uh, the sharpness did not increase with a smaller aperture. I guess it is because you already have a lot of diffraction with this very small effective aperture. The images are still pretty useful though, don't you agree? I feel like I learned two things when doing this experiment. Number one, you really can use any lens to do macro photography, given enough extension tubes, even a 120 year old one. And two, next time I want to try an experiment similar to this one, 
I should make sure to find a shorter focal length lens so that I don't need to apply as many extension tubes. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more interesting macro photography experiments every week.